In this question, we're talking about functions and in fact, composition functions. So I love this meme here from the alien sketch. I've got functions inside functions inside functions. Ha ha. He's supposed to be talking about aliens. In this case right here, we've got functions inside a function. If you look at this notation, what they're looking for, it looks like fog, but it's not. The way this is supposed to be is if you know your functions and composition of functions, this means f of g of x. And remember how this stuff works, is that <clears throat> f of x is just some rule. So we know that any time you want to find f of x, it's just x squared minus 1. So that's just the rule. It says what, take whatever you feed it and square it, subtract 1 from it. g of x, however, says that whatever you do, take that thing, square it, and then subtract 2 from it. Now we want f of g of x. So if you think about it, the outside function, or f, you're feeding it not just an x value, you're feeding it a whole equation. So the trick to doing this is look at your outside function. Outside function is f. That means I'm going to follow the rules of f. It says take some junk and square it and subtract 1 from it. See, that's the rule of f of x. However, we don't just feed it an x. We feed it a whole function g of x. See, that's the whole trick to this one here. We fit a whole g of x. So we have to put g of x here inside here. So that's why we put in this, um, actually I'll do it in green, why not? So that's why we put an x squared minus two in here. Now it's uh, just a matter of expanding this thing. So we have f of g of x, let's see, it's equal to, remember it's not just this. How's this, you wanna just square this? A lot of people think, oh, I'll just square the first term, so that's x squared squared, that's x to the fourth, and then subtract from that 2 to the power of 2, whoops, which would be 4. Right? A lot of people think, this is it, right? Nope, every time you do that, like, a puppy dies. I don't know what happens, but bad things happen in the world. So no, you cannot do that. The trick is, you're supposed to do what some people call FOIL, or just write them out twice. Basically, you have to write it all out twice. There should be a total of four terms which hopefully reduce. And don't forget you have your minus one going on. Right, that's what this squared represents. So then we keep going then, and we say find f of g of x equals, let's see. Remember this little trick for FOIL? What that means is, uh, some people use that trick at least. I'll show you that one. F-O-I-L. It's supposed to stand for first, outside, inside, last. So for example, I multiply the first times the first. And to do that, let's see, what do I get? First times the first is x squared times x squared is x fourth. Then I do outside. So that means x squared times minus 2, which is minus 2x squared. Then I do inside, which is minus 2 times x squared. And then L for last, so minus 2 times minus 2, which is plus 4. But don't forget this little minus 1 hanging out here. Yeah, that one's still there. That's just from the beginning. If I do this, I can group these together. By the way, you don't have to use this trick foil. Just remember, each of them has to multiply each of the others. That's how you multiply out uh, something like this, a binomial it's called. So if I do this, I'm almost done. I end up with, uh, let's see here. I have x to the fourth minus 2x squared minus 2x squared. So that means I have minus 4x squared. And then I have plus 4 minus 1, which is plus 3. So actually, this is my entire answer. I'm actually done. That's it. So this is my answer for f of g of x. And it's fully expanded. Now the question here, they didn't want you to just find it. They said, show that it equals this. But a good thing to do is just try to plot along and do it yourself. And hopefully you get the answer they're looking for. In this case right here, we got it.